And welcome to the Green Hour on WRD at 96.1 FM and also 900 AM on the weekend. Sponsored by Celia. I'm your host, Dr. Paul Hopkins, and we're here every Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. You can also find us online at www.100amwrd.com and in the community. My co-host, ho, 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 look out, is look out, buddy, Bill look out, buddy. On, you there, man? Yes, I am, man. How you doing, buddy? Things. Right Your speeches. Yes, yeah. we bring I'm Larry. speeches I'm right now. <laughs> yeah, man. We encourage yeah, man. clean living from the inside out. A centerpiece of this maintaining a healthy lifestyle and getting informed about the connection between good health and what is happening in the world around you. It includes what you consume, what you wear, what products you use on your body. How you clean your home, what you drive, what you purchase, and the decisions you make every day. We focus on the environment as a key part of our social integrity. On the Green Hour, we will focus on how the people and the planet are one. Without further ado, welcome. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. How's everybody doing? Yeah, man. How you doing, Bill? Hey, man, I'm doing well. How about yourself, Doc? How about yourself? Doc? All right. And super producer in studio with me yes, is Big Mike. Mike Big Moore. Mike. Big Mike. Holding it down, man. How you gentlemen doing? All right, everybody good? Everybody's good, man. Hey, you know what? We all are staying in focus and seeing aware of what's going on. I'm seeing more people with masks, which is yes, good, you know, good. and that's what Kinda we want people to be aware of and to stay on point. You know, Bill, uh, I know you see some things out there in Jersey, so yeah, I know you're yeah, keeping man. people. How are the people out there? You know what? You, 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 know, what? Yeah, you know what, man? Things yeah, are actually going pretty good over here in Jersey, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, the, the, matter of fact just, just last week, I guess, when the Institute was thinking about everybody having to wear a mask all the time. Listen, since I don't go to the store, my wife says, I can't believe it actually stopped me from going in the store. You know what? That kind of lets us know, buddy. That's some strange times we're living in right now. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So I think that everyone should just keep in mind, you know, stay Stay focused to what's the real issues right now. You know, just stay home if you have yes, to. Yes, indeed, okay? indeed. You know, indeed. and it's it's an important thing that, you know, we're doing some um, some incredible things that I want to announce today. You know, we're going to have a great show today. Right. And first off, I want to say, you know, uh, there is free testing that's going to take place. All right, guys. And right, a free guys. testing. And, Bill, I don't know if you got that on um online or not but uh there is going to be black doctors covid 19 free covid 19 testing it's going to be okay. tomorrow okay. monday april 20th that's 10 a.m to 4 p.m that's going to be at my church enon oh, okay. tabernacle okay. baptist church and that's 2800 west shelton in philippia they want to mention this and family, if you are having coronavirus type symptoms or have been in contact with someone who has tested positive or suspected to be positive for coronavirus in the past 14 days, then come get tested. But we really trying to make sure that this is someone I know everyone wants to come out and maybe say, I want to just make sure. But really, this is someone who has those symptoms. Symptoms may be like coughing, sneezing, sore throat, shortness of breath fever, loss of smell, things like that. Mm -hmm. Things we talk about here, right. loss of taste, right. you know, loss of taste, diarrhea, or even just straight weakness. That's for you. That's not for everyone, but this is just going to take place. This is going to be alignment of uh, black doctors mm -hmm. that are going to come together and it's going to be at Enon Tabernacle Baptist Church. Again, 2800 West Sheltonham Avenue tomorrow, Monday, April the 20th. And that's going to be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. All right, family, four, right? we'll post four, that. Right? I will post that also, or you can go right to Enon's website. That's enontab.org. That's my pastor, Pastor uh, Waller. Okay. And uh, more information, and just go right to the website. Call, the time again? That's from 10 a.m. Okay. to 4 p.m. Okay, great, great, okay. great. Uh -huh. great, great. Uh -huh. And for more information, just go right directly to uh, www.enontab.org. All right, family? All right. All right. Also, I wanted to, Bill, you know, Bill, did you have any latest numbers for us? Uh, for the corona, man, you know virus, what? I, as far I, as where I, we are, you know what we had? What was that? What that? You was COVID? What now? Yeah, COVID nineteen. Uh, there is a there's COVID nineteen live. Right. You know, we have the young man who actually is a part of the uh, COVID nineteen. 
uh, he is actually a young man who pretty much has <laughs> he has really taken this thing by the horns. Exactly. He, right. Like anyone right. has posted all the numbers for COVID nineteen, right. and no right. one has numbers like him. Okay. You know he okay. has pulled up some of the latest numbers, and we're going to roll off those Listen, numbers man. for the family. As I'm looking at it right yeah. now, okay, right now, okay, coronavirus, coronavirus cases, cases, guys. Now listen to this. This is you. This is my country. This is my country. Two point three million all together. Together, just, All the together, case, right? just the case, right? That's 164,391 164, recovered, recovered in 614,756. 614, okay. Mm. Talking okay. active, active cases now, cases currently now, infected currently patients, 1.6 million. 6 million. Okay. Mm. And mild mm -hmm. conditions, 1.5 million. 8 million. Series or critical, 54,239. That's 3% of the population. Right? Of the population right? Right? Now, mm -hmm. here we're talking about now, closed about cases. Closed cases, 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 cases recovered 614,756, 614, which is 79%. Which is 79%. Okay? Mm -hmm. And those are recovered. Yeah, those now, are recovered. That's one hundred and sixty-four thousand three hundred ninety-one. So, so, yeah, their questions yeah, are: questions you know, What do we do? Are, are we, we do? Are, are we in good are shape? In good what's shape going on? What's going on? Well, you know, with the with the numbers, you know, we don't want this to get. We don't want to get casual, right? And then when you right. get casual, now everyone starts to run out and then start to do their thing, and then next thing you know. Here we have another reoccurrence of the issue. Right. So we want to make right. sure that everyone, right. we still have to let this virus take its course. Mm -hmm. And it has to take its course the right way. Even though there are flat level line numbers that are starting to happen uh -huh. in places uh -huh. like New York and California and other places, we still want to be mindful that you keep your distance. Uh, make sure you're uh -huh. in. If you have to go to the store, don't go unless you have right, to. Right, exactly. Or right, if exactly. you have an important or you're essential in some way, uh -huh. whether your job uh -huh. or uh, where you're taking care of maybe a situation. But be very mindful, uh -huh. family. So we want to just keep that family up to date. So go get tested if you're needed to, that there is testing for you tomorrow. Uh, so keep in mind. Also, I want to add to uh, that at the same note, you know, a lot of people are having issues with, you know, you're seeing lines start to now build in places all over the country right. for food uh -huh. right. and uh -huh. we are a distributor and I'm, I'm glad to say uh, at my office i'm in partnership with abington caregivers and also okay. uh, lit rock which is actually a humanitarian organization Good. that works Good. with my humanitarian organization and what we're going to do is we're going to be giving continuously giving out food for the Wonderful. family and Wonderful. we have box foods now we don't have always the exact time that the location is going to get them dropped off but we're going to start to generate a list and you can go to my website family when uh from my website uh subscribe and from those subscribers we're going to send out email blasts to those letting them know when the initial initial time for pickups will be all right good and this all is right. sometimes and what's good about this bill you sometimes if you're uh, if we set up in the right time and we're doing it correctly, we had one time we had people just come through and they would drive through and we would put the boxes right in. Oh, that's great. So oh, it's that's everyone's great. everyone's sanitized down, gloves, mask, everything. We just want to uh, serve the people and the family with the subsidi subsidizing something for the family exactly. so that they can exactly. actually get exactly. through these uh, rough times that we're going through. Uh -huh. So uh, that's going to take place uh, sometime this week. We don't have an official uh uh, uh, date or time right now, but if I get it before the show is over, I will post it online. Okay. But also okay. subscribe. Go to w triple w dot dr paul. That's d r p a u l herbs h e r b is in boy s is in sam dot com, or you can call my one eight hundred number, which is one eight seven seven three seven seven. 2854 and we'll try to add you to the list All right. in some All way right. that we cool. can get this information cool. to you now my ultimate goal would be to connect with those organizations <clears throat> that are in charge or overseeing the people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. other church organizations you have an organization whether frats fraternity right. Uh, right. anything that you have that is a meeting that you're continuously having network we want to be able to link everyone to the right sources that may be close to you so we're going to try to build a network we said of places that people can get additional food and support in these in these uh difficult times right, okay right, 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 so right. um 
Also, uh, we just want to make sure that, uh, Bill, we'll give out those numbers and everything before, but give the folks in because we're going to have a great show today. Yes, we're going to yes. talk to one of the leading doctors in research and that's dealing with coronavirus. Uh -huh. and it's good. Uh -huh. New friend, found friend of mine. All right. I like it. We've been like talking that, lately a lot. I like this, man. I like this. All you right. Know? All right. And, and uh, we're going to talk in a little bit. But before we do that, this is a call in show. Uh, Bill, give them the information so that everyone can call in. All right. Man, Man, hold on, you know what? Hold on, one second. I actually I, just kind of walked, walked away from it. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Here, Dr. Paul. Okay, I got you. All right, here's the hotline. The hotline okay. is 215 634 8065. That's 215 634 8065. Also, toll free 1 866 361 0900. That's 1 866 361 0900. And also, we're on uh, Facebook Live right now. Dr. Paul, all one word, last name Hopkins. That's right. And you can right. actually follow us and even share this later on, you know, so we can actually uh, maybe send this out to somebody that's in need and needs the information. Hey, Dr. Right? Hey, Dr. Wall, everybody to know that. Even though they can't though see my, they can't cute, see my face. cute face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also I'm still also running still live on Facebook. Live the, on Facebook. The, the only thing is, is that only right now, is that right they're now, unable to actually really hear, hear what's going on. But by the, at the end of the show, the end I'm going to download, download this together, together like we did last like week. That way you're able to see both you and I together right here. Absolutely. It's always good to have a rebroadcast. Folks listen to it later on if they're not able to listen now. Indeed. Okay. So it is with great pleasure that I bring to the forefront here one of the leading doctors. And this gentleman and doctor is a newfound friend of mine and we've been talking the last couple of i guess last couple of weeks now and uh we were introduced by um another good friend uh and that's uh mr charlie pollock over right. at uh right. pollock herbs right. you know okay. he gave me okay. he says doctor he says you got to meet this guy he said, because y'all sound exactly alike. alike. Huh? alike he huh? says, you sound the same stuff that y'all talk. It's it's almost like y'all twins. <laughs> <laughs> he said, That's a good you thing. Know, some of the okay. things you talk about are very on point to what we are needing right now. Indeed. As Indeed. far as, you know, building the immune system, yes. doing yes. the things that we talk about on the green hour, which was talking about environment, but also how do you you know build the system so that the system in turn corrects itself we don't do anything uh -huh. Uh -huh. but this is where uh my guest here today is dr cass ingram cass ingram, cass ingram. Cass ingram. and let me just read his bio dr cass ingram is a nutritional physician okay. who received a bs in biology and chemistry from the university of northern iowa and a do from the university of osteopathic medicine okay. and health sciences in des moines iowa Dr. Ingram has since written over 25 books on natural healing. He has given answers and hope to millions through lectures and thousands of radio TV shows. Okay. His okay. research and writings have led to countless cures and discoveries. Oh, wow. Discoveries. That's great. Dr. Cass Ingram presents hundreds of health tips and insights in many books of health nutrition and disease prevention. Right. Dr. Right. Ingram is one of North America's leading experts on the health benefits of disease fighting properties and wild medical spice extracts. A popular media personality, he has appeared on over 5,000 radio and TV shows. He now travels the world promoting perfect health and natural ways and his 5,001 show is now the Green Hour. Without further ado, let me bring to the surface Dr. Cass all right, Ingram. Welcome. All right. Welcome. Doc, all right, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, Doc? Good, great. How, how are you getting along? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just plump, wow. pleasing, like to see you to right. hear you today yeah. because uh, I know the amount of information that you are gathering and all that people uh, need at this time. You know, you've been doing this a long time. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. And yeah. Uh, what you're now, people can now hear the things that we on the natural side and pe people that promote nutrition for health are starting to really come back to us and say, you know what? Y'all have been saying this a long time. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, Doc, just tell people who have maybe never heard of you, tell them who you are, a little bit about what we just talked about, your bio, but most importantly, some of the research that you're doing right now. Right. 
Right. Well, I am doing uh, extensive work because I have already previously did uh, a good uh, in vitro study on the human coronavirus, mm -hmm. influenza A, and the bird flu. Bird flu is 60% fatal. That's nothing to mess wow. with, right? Mm -hmm. And so I took with some keen interest uh, as this uh, exploded in sort of the animal sector, perhaps, uh, uh, it wasn't too difficult to think about industrial farms uh, for a person like me fairly quickly uh, and see this thing start to sur uh, surge and lurch a quick. In fact, it looked like this particular pathogen was already attacking people in the Western world. So, uh, you know, you try to evolve with it, uh, uh, you know, sort of develop with it. But I'm, I'm an... I'm an expert on this whole situation, on what to do and how the government could take this under control mm. and resolve mm. all of this. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That's why it's, I'm up at 3 and 4 in the morning uh, working on uh, uh, putting our lives back to normal. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's important. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and, and some of the things that you, um, I guess you're more uh, very well known for is specifically this wild oregano. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the wild oregano for those who don't know what wild oregano is. Well, it'd be one thing if it was my idea, but if you go back to the Old Testament, though I'm not a scriptural scholar, I'm a scholar in the wild oregano, you'll see a reference to a cleansing substance mm -hmm. that will purify you. And and then they, they talk about how, or shouldn't they say they, the, the, the scripture talks about how you're, you're to take uh, a batch of the wild oregano in the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. in the Mediterranean, and you're to take it and smack your pillars as you walk into the house, your house. Then you're to smack your furniture and your wall and whatever with it. Wild <laughs> oregano is a germicide. Mm -hmm. yes. It contains germicidal uh, essential oils that are in the oil gland pockets. So we're talking about the wild stuff, not the farm raised that's been co opted and not the Chinese synthetic. So mm -hmm. we're talking I know you're going to all start rushing and thinking, but wild oregano grows on the mountains, in the rocks, out of the rocks, and it has been described in these Testament sources. Uh, and, and then you're to lock yourself in the room. I think this, there must have been a plague at the time. Mm -hmm. They used the oregano to, to uh, fumigate their houses mm. and to, to take out the mold or the viruses, what have you. So uh, wild oregano is two things, the oil. The oil is a germicide, it's a viricide, mm -hmm. viricide, bactericide, mm -hmm. fungicide, mm -hmm. but it's also a fumigant. Mm. It can be used both uh, internally uh, and topically and in a spray form and on the skin if it's in a carrier oil. Uh, and so I'm watching this and I'm saying, to, I've been saying from the beginning, I think people are dying for no reason. Mm -hmm. If we could get the oregano down to them, and get the uh, you know the system to agree to this on a larger scale because we're doing it we're doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. I, I, about two hundred thousand people died for nothing in this situation. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and with this, uh, you have um, a few articles that you break down the whole oregano and its most post the what is called the most potent antiviral agent, agent for, for coronavirus. coronavirus. Correct. And, Correct. And and you know we have spoke many times on the Green Hour here about the essential oils and how the essential oils have a high frequency, which that negative charge literally eradicates the positive charge, mm -hmm. which is bacteria, virus, fungus, parasites, and all that lives in. Right. So yes, this is exactly what the Bible says. It's a fumigant. It actually clears the air and so many other things. So, you know, you, you, you made a point to me. You said that this thing grows in very strange places, like it grows in rock. Yes, Can you explain does. that? Explain that for us. Okay, so the, the see, unfortunately, you have to know the quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take action from what we say on this program. Right. right. Truly wild oregano grows above the tree line. Uh -huh. It hates uh -huh. shade. It likes full sunlight. The trees, when they end, the oregano grows in the rocks. It doesn't grow in the humus. You know how in a valley the humic acid right. comes down right. and there's a mm -hmm. patch of grass? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It uh -huh. hates that. It only grows on the rocky slopes all the way up to the top of the mountain, 12 to 13,000 feet above sea level, and it prefers the shards, the little crevasses where the shards of rock are, 
And so what kind of a plant has the energy to break rock for its soil? <laughs> That's what the kind of plant you're That's dealing amazing. with. Wow. That wow. is truly amazing. Wow, truly amazing. Yeah. And it so happens that the truly good oregano is coming from an area that was never glaciated. So that's ancient, ancient rock. Wow. Mm. Your belief system, you might say 4,000 years. I will tell you a lot longer, but whatever you want to believe, go ahead. A that. long time ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to <laughs> me. Sense Indeed. To me. Indeed. <laughs> so where was this actually? Now, where are you saying it was never glaciated? Now, where is this? This, uh, this, this mm -hmm. was Turkey. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. the, the glaciers, there were some glaciers on the top, but in terms of the scraping glaciers stopped to leave Tur Anatolia alone. That's from the Godhead. There can be no other conclusion. This medicine is for the human race because, and again, I'm not trying to preach it anybody, but mm -hmm. the only medicine, there's only two medicines ever mentioned in scriptural sources specifically as cures. One is the oregano because it's, it's stated, purge yourself, clean yourself, do something with it. Purify, mm -hmm. you'll be as clean as snow. What does that mean? As, as white as a glacier? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean spiritual. It means germ killing. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes The second yes. one is the raw honey, which you find in the Quran. Mm -hmm. So you have two well-known ancient medicines that we could be using right now. Let's talk a little bit about the honey. Did you hear about that African dignitary, uh, the governor? And he said, look, my doctor friend, when I got COVID-19, told me to mix one teaspoon of honey with one teaspoon of black seed oil, which is also in the old scripture. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and he said, it cured me. I, I turned, uh, COVID negative. Mm. So if, you know, if, Come on if now. honey, Come on now. wild oregano and black seed are that good, because we're so far behind. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. Are we are we really behind or just lack of informa informed about the, or a lack of accepting, you know, some of the things that, you know, grandparents used to always tell us, you know, these are the things that got them through. And we've gotten away from the information of our ancestors and our elders that I believe that that's why we have these issues that we do now. We, we really have a time where the processed foods, uh, the GMOs, the glyphosates, uh -huh. you know, the chlorpyrifos, all these different things that are being sprayed on our foods and you know all of this is messing up the gut and i know for example that raw oregano does amazing things for not only the respiratory but also for the gut can That's you explain true. can you talk a little bit about the gut okay well gut? The, the oregano oil and the crude herb known as oregano uh -huh. the juice uh -huh. of oregano let's just talk about the oil and the juice right right these are ethnobotanical medicines for heart disease diabetes and digestive disorders in renal conditions and the immune system mm. in the gut in the gut in pig research it was found that daily consumption of oregano oil caused the mucous membranes of the intestine despite how hot it is to dramatically improve mm. the villi got better the absorption improved the nutrient absorption improved the pigs or whatever. I'm not a pig person, but uh, <laughs> I'll take the grass with beef. beef you know? um, the, the animals' intestines improved. Now, they've done it in humans. They found that the various leaky gut, diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, these uh, uh, infection in the intestine and the study done in Mexico, this all improves with oregano consumption. Uh -huh. yes. uh, so mm. uh, it's not just arom ar aromatic lovely taste. Mm -hmm. It's drug. Mm. Uh -huh. yes. uh, yeah. Yeah. So we can, it, it just goes on and on and, and also making the balance, you know, of pH and also cleaning the system tremendously. Yes. As you said, yes. scripture yes. says that it, you know, may it purge my body with things like hyssop, hyssop black, black seed exactly. bitter, black. Mm -hmm. you know, things like, uh, you know, the oregano, these are the wild herbs that are grabbing that energy out of the earth. And That's from right. that now brings that charge into the gut. That's I, right. I believe the biggest is, problem. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I believe the biggest problem is definitely the gut issues. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it is. It mm -hmm. is. And that's where the oregano shines because, first of all, it, it, it's the only plant that can grow on those rocks. The, the trees can't do it. It's specialized for us, we humans. We have our problems in our gut. We have the candida. We have parasitic mm -hmm. infection, mm -hmm. amoeba. Uh, we have the, the bigger parasites like the flukes and the, 
and the tapeworms, but we also have a tremendous problem with this SIBO, bacterial overgrowth, the fungal. And look at the coronavirus. The coronavirus is an intestinal virus. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. we were able to keep our gut free from pathogens, we wouldn't get the disease. That means something like oregano oil, raw honey, and black seed, oregano juice, on a daily consumption. Yes. Mm. Highly protective. Yes. That's why Mr. Pollock, just for the Philadelphia listeners, down at Pollock Herbs, and now you at your clinic, but he has just been using and using and using these black seed and oregano oil uh, for for the clientele. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and he will tell us, and many others will, that the people who follow that are not getting sick. Mm. That's right. That's right. Protecting that gut. Yeah. And then, you know, Doc, <laughs> you know, Mr. Pollock is is such a blessing. You know, he gave me the story about how he's been, you know, such a remnant in this community of Philadelphia. And I'm sure that you travel all over the world and you see remnants of this all over the world. There's not where, much left. Hmm? Yeah, not much left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, that's why we call them remnants because it's we're losing the knowledge, we're losing the information. You know, that's why it's good. And I thank you so much for your information, your input, and your commitment to research to find out, you know, what's really going on and how we can actually start to feed the body and the body correct itself. We don't do yeah. anything, you know, and that's where I think the misconception happens. Oh, you know, there is, yeah. yeah. There's one other, uh, you did a, a great article also on vitamin A, the yes. vitamin A deficiencies. Uh, it stated the vitamin A deficiency predisposes to vulnerability in infection in COVID-19. Yes. Tell us well, a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. and it does because, first of all, if, if you think of the uh, anosmia or if you, you know, loss of taste, loss of smell, uh, bronchial issues, destruction of cilia, that's all a vitamin A deficiency. So if you're not getting sufficient stores in your diet or through really good supplementation, you are more vulnerable. You're asthmatics, you're elderly your COPDs, your emphysema, they're all vitamin A deficient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need that for the, for the antibody. The antibody collects the viruses so the white cells can come. You've got to do more, and I explain it in the article for mm -hmm. your vitamin A status. But mm -hmm. despite that, C and A and D, the kingpin is the wild oregano because we may not have time, we may not have a chance, we may not have the money, we may not have the time, mm -hmm. but if we mm -hmm. could take the wild oregano oil and juice, Maybe we want to back it up with a little black seed. Mm -hmm, Maybe right. honey, mm. But the two are the oregano and the juice. We're not going to get it. Mm. Um, as, as, and I think this is known at the governmental level. Is it true that the WHO, and I've worked with them in the past indirectly and helped them in plagues and pandemics, but they must have studied the oregano. Oil. They had to, yes. <laughs> You know it. You know it, because you know you're. They're running the WHO connected with the UN. I'm also with the United Nations. So you know this information is there, you yeah. know, and uh, and the people of the indigenous uh, divisions of the UN are pushing mm -hmm. it. I know that mm -hmm. for a fact. Yes. So yeah. I, I wonder just think what that they're doing in China because China is trying to turn more to home remedies. But when they went to SARS before, I gave them the oregano oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that multiple spice and the oregano spray every doctor took that with them now what do you suppose happened mm -hmm. they came back mm -hmm. and they didn't have the disease mm -hmm. they transmit the SARS and they were immunized we mm -hmm. don't really need to spend 16 billion dollars on a newfangled experimental vaccine mm -hmm. we already have the answer it's under the nose in every hotel just pick up that Bible I'm not a biblical scholar I'm gonna be a scholar to you to the oregano God's gift to humanity it's just anybody could read. Yes. Oh, yes. there's only one yes. herb mentioned yes. specifically. Oh, well, that's the one I should take. What? Is it a spiritual <laughs> divide? What? Don't we understand what's under our nose? Is it going to take us another 3,000 exactly. years to figure it out? Exactly. Only life. This is what my best expression only is. Life only life, life can create, will give you life. Yes. Always. And that's it. Oh, no you doubt. know, only no life doubt. begets life. Dead can't bring you life. Dead can't do nothing but stay dead. So yeah. that's why we need to put this life inside mm -hmm. of us. Oh, we so. do. The, all the people dying unnecessarily. Yes. God gave yes. them, uh, He gave the solution. Mm -hmm. Believe me. If you don't believe in him, I feel sorry because he gave you the honey, the black seed, and the oregano wow, oil, wow, and the oregano wow. juice, with it, which is ethnobotanical because mm -hmm. that hammers into the chest. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to look any further than this show, which you can listen to again yes. to have the answer. Now, I have a book now. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the book. Mm -hmm. COVID Remedy. Mm -hmm. the, I'm putting it up online on kazingram.com. It's mostly a non-commercial site. I don't know. I think at first, for the first month, the book will be free. So to mm -hmm. help, 
Uh, KazIngram.com for the COVID uh, remedy. Eh, sometime in the next 48 hours, it'll be up, I think. Okay, yeah, absolutely. We're going to, um, Bill, can you grab that and post that for That's us? Kaz That's remedy. Um, remedy? Yes, Kaz. That's triple W dot Cass Ingram, C A S S I N G R A M dot com. Is that correct, Doc? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. and so uh, you will have a post for the free book, uh, ebook, which is the COVID remedy, the real truth revealed. Now, I found this big connection to pork, swine flu. Anybody? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, China lost most of its pigs. Yes. You got to yeah. look into it. Uh, if you're heavily consuming pork, you're increasing your risk. You saw what happened Absolutely. in the slaughterhouses. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You got to you got to clean up the diet, people. Before yeah, goes. goes back to the gut every time, yes. you know. Yeah. And here we are talking about you know the biggest problem that I've mentioned several times was the effect of when we saw the. Uh, the coronavirus sweeping places like Italy in Europe and oh, all yeah. over. The one thing that came to my mind was, you know what, when it hits here, it's going to do damage to those who have the terrible diets. Yeah. The terrible diets, this is going to be really That's right. heavy on them. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to we're gonna make sure we get all of that in there. If you're listening for the first time here on The Green Hour, uh, this is Dr. Paul Hopkins. We're Bill Morgan. Yes, and we're indeed. talking with Dr. Cass Ingram, who's a nutritional physician. He's also has um, uh, received BS in biology and chemistry and also University of Northern. Uh, it was at Northern Iowa and yeah. also University of Osteopathic Medicine. It's a DO also from Des Moines, Iowa, and he's breaking down some of the information. And you know, Doc, I love it because you're co-signing all the stuff we talk about uh, on the Green uh, Hour. It's, it's like he's you been know, in our um, head, Doc. Oh. Yeah, we. Oh, I mean, he's right. <laughs> he's right on. I was, point. I was there with you all along. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in our pockets, right there. No doubt, you know indeed. And that's when uh, you know, Mr. Pollock said, you know, you got to get gas on. And then I said, you know what? When we started talking, I think we just took off. Yes, we, we really took that's off. Right. So now, there's I, another interesting uh, caveat, which is there was a young man who who got uh, extreme bad, extreme bad stomachache, extreme pain, pain, pain. Mm -hmm. Twenty some years of age, they checked him. He had the most fulminant COVID nineteen overgrowth that they could measure. Mm. He died at twenty some year old. Died. Wow. And his problem was in, like you said so wisely, something in that gut. Had he taken mm -hmm. oh, care right. of that intestine and, and that diet strongly, he would have survived this. Mm -hmm. We don't know what he ate. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And as wow. we say, we always have the disclaimer here on the Green Hour, not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, just food for the soul. Indeed. Because that's what so we're talking true. about today, so family, is food. This is food. This is not something that's foreign. This is something that grows out the earth. And this is something that you can bring that gut back to balance. That's why we say, you know, feed the body and it corrects itself 11 times faster than you get sick. That's the shout for somebody. Yeah, so no, whatever you're right. doing, build the immune system. I would love to hear more, Dr. Cass, about our, you know, elites talking more about building the immune system. How about exercising? How about eating a healthy diet? How about doing uh, something? Huh? Really, really, we should go for that uh, brisk, uh, fairly brisk walk every day, to, no matter what the weather, rain, sun, or shine. And 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 if possible, a 15 or 20 minute, don't overdo it, mm -hmm, 15 or 20 mm -hmm. minutes right. calisthenic re regime in the morning, especially if we're over 50. We don't need to be going out and pounding on the earth for until you break uh -huh. the marathon law. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and, and you know, all this, pretty much all the centarians, they, they didn't exercise, but they did brisk walking and they walked up the mountains and they, they went for their walk with their umbrella. Uh, so, so be practical about it, but pick up something with bicycling, swimming or walking. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And, and, and also the obesity. We are so vulnerable to this disease process because mm -hmm. we have the people without the lung capacity, they're overweight. If this gets into the poor, the obese communities, and we said it before, if it gets into the nursing homes, you saw what's happening. Yes. In some yeah. states, yeah. Them, yeah. almost 80% of the dead are in nursing homes. Yes. Yes. We, I mean, this is the most vulnerable country for this disease. Mm, yes. Okay. So uh, I want to thank you so much, Doc, you know, for, for chiming in today. You know, this has truly been a blessing for us because we really need, you know, from the medical side also and the naturopathic side, but you're on the both sides. You know, we want the information 
to, you know, get to the people and let them know that, you know, rest assured, you know, you can do something by building your system. Don't listen to all the media hype and the things that are scaring people because that brings another type of anxiety and sends the body into Uh, a state of acidosis, which now we really don't want that because that's fight or flight now because you're scared. You know, we say scared man can't win, (laughs) you know, so you got to now. And, and the oregano is extremely forgiving. So no matter what your circumstances are, if you could just have a, there was a couple of ladies in a nursing or in a hospital, mm-hmm. and a friend of mine, a little old 75 year old lady sent over some bottles of the P73, the real stuff, the P73 oregano, mm-hmm. uh, the, mm-hmm. the, uh, reg arrest also. Mm-hmm. And these two people were told you're going to die in the hospital. Just get ready, get your will. Mm. And they, they both checked out and went home. Wow. Uh, they didn't check <laughs> I love out. it. I love it. Uh, no, two little, little old ladies. Old lady helping another little old lady. That's what it's going to have to <laughs> Two do. little old ladies from Pasadena, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take that, my friend. So That's wonderful. Time and we'll That's exactly right. right. He's on, on the block. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, I yes. want to thank you, Dr. Cass Ingram, for chiming in today. We really appreciate it. Can you give, we'll give out your website again. Give a number that if you want anyone who needs to get a hold of you, uh, how can they get a hold of you? Is there a direct line for you try one eight hundred two four three fifty two forty two? Give them a call at uh, North American Herb one eight hundred two four three fifty two forty two, or message me on kazingram dot com. The books are there. the The Doctor's Guide to Wild Oregano, the new little health book. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, kazingram dot uh-huh. com, the Black Seed Miracle. It's all there. Yes, and actually, we're going to be announcing right now, Doc. I'm doc- announcing right now. We're yes, going to be partnering yes. up yeah. on a lot of things. I'm going to be carrying this in my office also. So this week, I will have some of the oregano oil uh, and also the juice. I yeah. love the juice. I can tell you that the juice does wonders for yeah. upper yeah. respiratory. And I'm sure that, you know, you can really chime in on that when your upper respiratory is the coolest place of the lungs. So it tends to have the perfect condition Mm -hmm. for that virus to grow. So now if you have something like oregano that heats it up, now (laughs) it starts to, there you go, heat it up. I like it to burn and burn good. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Cass Ingram. It has truly been a pleasure. Let's give him a shout out one more time. Dr. Cass, Ingram. Dr. Cass, love to have you, man. And, Appreciate and, you it. You know, I can't say without without a doubt that you know, please support uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Cass Ingram and the information. And I will post all the information on my uh, Facebook page. But also, let's give a shout out to Dr. Uh, or not Dr. But uh, Mr. Pollock Herbs over there. Yes, you know, he, yes, he made yes, this yes. all possible. You know, Mr. Pollock. If you're listening, thank you so much for bringing Dr. Cass Ingram to my attention and all the things that he's been a wonderful blessing to the family. And we always want to keep this information going. So thank you, Doc. And uh, we shall be in contact. I'll call you after the show, okay? (laughs) Thank you so much. So, all right. All right. He's all right. gone. He's all gone. right. Thank you, Bill. Yo, hey, man. Bill. Oh, man. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that out of sight? See, hey, look. Let me tell Dr. you, man. Ball, I knew there was somebody Ball, else around, around here like us. Like us. Uh, <laughs> it's good it's to hear great, the echoes man, you know? from around oh. the world. And Dr. Cass is already in Chicago. Yeah, he's, he's in, in Chicago. Chicago. Okay, cool. Okay. But he oh, has a lot of... He used to live out that way, you know? He has a lot of great information. And you know what? I'm hearing a lot of the talk about the different things that people can take. And I wanted to go to our herb of the day. This is our herb of the day. Now, of course, we say not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, just food for the soul. You know, the herb that I want to talk about today is called cinchona. Okay. Okay. Cinchona. And I'll spell that for you. C-I-N-C-H-O-N-A. Uh-huh. Cinchona. Okay. 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 Cinchona is basically, they call it the medicinal bark. Okay. Okay. Medicinal bark. And it's a bark that comes from the regions of South America. And it also has other names Peruvian bark. They even called it the Jesuits bark. Okay. Fever tree. And they called it also the quinine bark tree. 
Now, why does quinine sound interesting? Because you know what? Quinine, this is the actual herb that the new hydroxychloroquine is ah, coming from. That's exactly right. I thought I heard that before. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now, okay. So the native range of the cinchona species are low in the mid elevations of the Andes in South America. Uh -huh, okay. That's where it comes from. Okay. And okay. it's the national tree for both Peru and Ecuador. Ah, okay. I get so you. these I get are you. tree. This tree has been a long a, for a long time mm -hmm. and this tree is actually where that quinine comes from which quinine is one of those nutrients mm -hmm. that uh has been used for or the active ingredients of what has been called well the active ingredients that they pull for the medication that actually has been used for the issues of the medication or the strongest okay. part of it is okay. the alkaloid okay. that's found in the bark all right. of the all tree. Right. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you can also find quinine in tonic water. Ah, ah. okay. Okay. And that's why some people were saying they were taking quinine or they, they were taking the tonic water and things like that. You know, it's interesting about quinine It actually, and that's the alkaloid that's in the cinchona tree. Mm -hmm. It has the ability when you put it under uh, certain types of black light or, you know, that UV lighting, yes. blue, yeah. that black light. Yes. Yeah. The actual fluorescence of the uh, actual bulk, actually of the, um, actually, what do they call it? They call it phosphorus. Okay. Phosphorus okay. actually absorbs light. And it absorbs that that uh, UV light, and then they start to glow. Ah, Isn't this okay. amazing? This That's is amazing great. right here. This See? just shows you the impact of how energy absorbs this phosphorus, absorb UV light, and then it emits its own little color. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. then it actually has like a glowing. All effect. right. Okay. 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 So this was actually one of the things that the colonizers used to help them because this was the active ingredient that was put into the medication that was for malaria all right okay all right, that okay. makes perfect mm. sense though. now here we go all coming back from that cinchona bark but you know what cinchona has also some other effects if you take cinchona and it take it as a natural herb it also is excellent for heart rhythm mm. issues okay. okay 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 you know rhythmic issues uh, very much has been used for heart palpitations and things. We always say not to diagnose, treat, cure, disease, any food for the soul. This right, is just food for right. the soul family. Right. Okay. Right. You know, okay. Not to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent. But we always want to have an understanding with your doctor when you're taking any medication or herbs together or if you're thinking about doing this. But I wanted to bring that to attention because the different types of things that you're hearing now is that they have to now because of the effects of hydroxychloroquine which is actually this uh, the, specific the, one that right, they diagnosed now. or they put in place <laughs> right, for right. the new cure has been causing problems so now they're even talking about revisiting the cinchona bark uh -huh. so uh -huh. apparently the malaria um the malaria which is a parasite is actually starting to now regenerate or now mutate from that original formula, which was back in the 40s when they first started to bring this to forefront for malaria. So well, I have a now, question for you then. For you then. Would, yes. would that, so be, would would that, that be, be the key, that be the key just, for just for us, for us as, as, you know, just, you know, just, we're just, we're everyday, just people. everyday people? How then how do then we do know we who know can trust who when, can when trust it comes to this kind of thing? Well, that's what... Well, you know, you always have the, the you know, you don't want to go into conspiracy theory no, as, no, you know, I as much. Sure. You uh -huh. know, I just want to always just say my point here is that it all comes back from the earth. Uh -huh. It uh -huh. always comes back from, you know, the purpose that the earth yields, the herb of the, the planet or the meat of the earth. Right. You know, right. that okay. we okay. actually looking back at the real food always comes from the earth that's, and that's why, why i'm asking the question, question. Yes. yes right as natural past we mm -hmm. don't believe in having to go to any animal or any species other than the earth itself yes. will provide yeah. everything that you ever need mm -hmm. to not to 
not to take things out of balance, but sure, to sure. initially feed you exactly, to bring you exactly, back okay. into balance. Yes. Yeah. So that quinine is an interesting thing, man. It's a very interesting story, you know, how it came about mm -hmm. and how people started to initiate that. You know, they used to call it the Jesuits bark. Ah, uh, yes. That's uh, yeah. when I love that one. Yes, that was cool. Yeah. Cause that means that the colonists, they actually use this. They actually, it shows that they were using this thing, mm -hmm. you know, to fight issues with malaria when they went into the colonizing of the um of the uh, of the places like africa you can see they had to use this in order right, to get right. by uh -huh, you uh -huh. know not for our benefit of course but for their benefit it just shows that these herbs work and that it was had the therapeutic levels to actually keep your body in a state of balance where it can pull a lot of the toxins and things but also it had antiviral properties it had antiseptic properties all these things that you know we talk about on a regular but that cinchona part also keeps the heart it's from getting uh issues of imbalance it also deals with gastrointestinal issues just like yes, dr yes. cass was and you know we were just speaking uh -huh, you know uh -huh. your gut has everything to do with your health 99 yes, yes. percent of all disease imbalance happens in your gut yes, yes so things like diarrhea gallbladder disease you know flatulence you know yes, always uh -huh, gassing uh -huh. or, blo or bloating us all of that comes from getting your gut in order mm -hmm. if i was to say anything to the listening audience right now to the family if you want to make sure you build your immune system first thing you do is get your gut together okay so okay. when all you right, get the right. gut together that's when all you right, get all, right. all the imbalances start to now correct them themselves we don't do anything mm -hmm. that's why we don't want to take credit for nothing that the most high did we Amen. didn't do any so of this true. this so is true. god's true. plan you know true. I mean? so true. true yes so cinchona bark is what we uh recommend it looks very much like uh if anyone has known the uh it looks very much like the pal diarco it's like a brownish bark mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and from that bark you can steep this in hot water usually three to five minutes is usually what we say bark is a little bit more sometimes up to 10 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in hot water the greatest transference from uh the herb bark root or any flowers into tea uh -huh. usually happens with hot heat uh -huh. remember heat uh -huh. is male principle tear down destruction now it pulls into the water so you steep it three to five minutes right now right. whatever is going to go it's going to go directly into the water we say transference of energy potentizing right. like uh -huh. goes right into pulls it right into the water right so just right. like grandma and them said back in the day that's the quickest way to get it yeah Bill. buddy yeah buddy <laughs> i know that's right, know that's right. <laughs> everybody had some Somebody, yes, somebody yeah. got a grandma or grandfather, right? Like <laughs> Mike, yes, yeah, grand, uh, your uh, grandma uh, had something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had something that it was nasty. See, and let me mean, tell you, when y'all first get a hold of this oregano, it's gonna make you speak a certain language. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> they would say, was that, let but us pray, y'all. Wow. After a while, <laughs> you should hear my wife. And shout out to Lisa, shout out to Lisa, Lisa, oh my, oh my, sister my. Lisa. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You know, she has, she has been taking this oregano. And let me tell you, she said, man, this is some rough stuff. But I tell you, it's working. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it can pull the phlegm, the mucus, and all those other things. But ultimately, gives you a great appetite, man, for yeah, yeah. food again. You know, I can notice that there's so many things that you can, you know how you take a deep breath and you can feel the oxygen just rolling through the lungs? Yeah. That's, yes. what, that's what the oregano oil does. Right, so right. we're going to be um, uh, partnering with Dr. Cass Ingram, but that, I also want to go back to, you know, well, you know, the very well. thing that we talk about, you know, with that quinine and all the, the remedies that they're mm -hmm. going to become. Mm -hmm. There's other alternatives. We're yes, not saying yes. not that you can't. Uh, have these specific things like the uh, if your choice is to take uh, a vaccination, of course, that's something that that's your personal choice. Right. Exactly. But also there's some people that say, well, you know, I want to do something to build my system naturally and no better time than the present because now we have the time to do it. Yeah. You know, yes. we're quarantined. Most of it, you don't have anywhere to go. Stay home. Now you can focus on your health. Indeed. You, Indeed. Can, you can focus on, we say, spirit, mind and body in that order. And now if you start to do this now, you can start to regenerate yourself mm -hmm. inside, yes. you know, yes. build yourself from the inside out you know so that's why we're saying that you know some of these things come from the earth yes, as they yes. say and um some of the uh other principles and properties of the cinchona bark you know go on and on we used to take this also for um tinnitus 
you know, and uh-huh. leg cramps. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tinnitus and leg. That's ringing in the ears. Some people have a lot of uh, uh, ringing in the ears or effects of ringing in the ears. So that's something that, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know what that is, what is what's going on, it's affecting the central nervous system. So this uh, cinchona was used for that. This is one of the things, mm. leg cramps mm. and also spasms. Right, right. Uh-huh. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, okay. And, uh, Bill, do you have a go-to herb, man? Tell the folks if you got a go-to herb. You got a go-to herb you've been man, using? Man, look, 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 so look, I love, look, the, I love the, the MSM, MSM for me. For me. Mm-hmm. Yep. You said what? I, I, love, I, the I love the MSM, MSM for me. For me. You know, I'm getting young. young. Trying to make sure my body is fine. You won't stay young, right? Yes, sir, yes, buddy. Sir, buddy. Uh, yeah, yes, we got, sir. We got Brenda on the line. Brenda, you there? Hey, Dr. Paul, I've been chasing you for two days. Oh, oh my, oh, my goodness. goodness. Don't <laughs> chase. No longer. You don't have to chase. <laughs> I'm I'm in your with your Wednesday ladies. I'm the one that my name is on your birthday card with word next to it. How you doing? Ah, yes, I do know who you are. How All are right, you today? I'm real quick, because I done put my dinner on the table here. <laughs> um Quick question. I'm not. I told you about six weeks ago. I had a jar of the um, sea moss, and I told you I didn't know what I was going to do with it. You were asking me about where I got it and whatever. Mm-hmm. But in lieu of the fact I'm locked in my house, I'm now got to consider taking it. This is my question to you. Mm-hmm. If a person, I have not had a thyroid in 15 years. It was radiated, and the medication just stopped work a certain period of time. It don't work as well as it used to. I considered trying it tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. What you you did a lot of talking about it yesterday, but you didn't talk a lot about if a person doesn't have an organ, which is different from people that have thyroid diseases, still have a thyroid. Right. How do you feel about a person taking a low dose amount of it? Absolutely. Well, remember the you, you remember I gave the point of the CMOS having up to a hundred or ninety two of your one hundred and two essential that you need. Mm-hmm. So this is only going to work for your benefit. It's a food. It's a total nutrient. And then when you have, remember, your thyroid, you know, is the weight, temperature, and pressure. If there's now been, there's no replacement of that, which is actually that's firing that's off. Mm-hmm. It's three, I can't get past 97.6. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I've so been that's okay. But that's, that's, bad, that's, you know, yeah, that's, my temperature. yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. I mean, 97 yeah. is not bad. Your 98.6 yeah. is normal, but 97 is not bad for someone who had that removed. So, I would just continue, you know, continue to tell you that this is a nutrient, okay? And right. you can't go wrong. This is helping you do what your thyroid has now been removed. Now you can actually continue to keep that energy up. That's your voltage regulator. Uh-huh. You know, the okay. voltage That's regulator. Great to know. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Paul, when your thyroid is off and you've lived with it 10, 15 years, you know when it's off. You know it. Absolutely. You That's know. right. I know, I know I have a lot going on with that. Mm-hmm. I just unfortunately got worse. Uh, Half hour waiting for your show to start. That a young young couple that I know, the husband passed yesterday. I'm so me. sorry to hear that. Yeah, so, so yeah. hard. I so know sorry. four people, and I'm just one person. So what does that say? Yeah. So here we are. We know we talked about sea moss and the benefits of sea moss. It is yeah. one of the greatest of the nutritional. Uh, mm. elements of the ocean, Ve- right. sea uh-huh. vegetable. You can't go wrong with it because it's food. You remember, it's food. Okay. So when that goes in, it's only going to, it gives the additional iodine properties and also okay. the uh, the different properties. I went over a whole list of everything. If anyone wanted to see that uh, that whole show yesterday, we did it on, it's on my Facebook page, Dr. Right. Paul, all one word, last right. name Hopkins. Yeah. Review that, send it to somebody yeah. because yeah. Uh-huh. It, was, uh, it was a great show we did what? yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a lot of people who were saying, I can't eat this. I can't eat that. But remember, it's your gut. You got to start with your gut first. Uh You know, thyroid is the weight, is the balancer. But also there's some other issues going on. We got to bring this thing back into balance. Everything Uh is about balance. All right, Dr. Paul, I didn't want to take my medication and take that and have a problem. Well, always check with, you know, check with your doctor. Let them always know what you're doing. But also never take a time you always yeah. have to take them so, separate apart I'm gonna so take them apart you yeah. know and at the end of the day i listen to you yeah <laughs> i'm not always asked about your wife <laughs> yes and lisa's doing, doing well. well she's, she's doing, doing very well, well. yes she's Thank doing very you. well worth the chase i've been chasing you since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> chase no more all right all right Thank very, you. Good. very good thanks, thanks so much, so much.
All right, Bill, All right, we yeah. got to get ready to go. No, uh, no, Mike no. gave me, yes, yes. The hook is the up, the hook is, is out. out. He yeah, gave the hook. He, he gave oh, me the man. hook three minutes ago. And oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> that's all right, Mike. We still love you, though, boy. We still love you, Mike. Love you, too. Love you, too. Hey, family. Oh, uh, we want to thank you so much for listening to another great Green Hour show. We want to thank and give shout outs to uh, Dr. Cass Ingram for his information that he dropped on us today. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also oh, call yeah. him directly 1 800 243 5242. And you can get his information also on CassIngram.com. You can mm -hmm. get that free book. Yeah. And that's yes, going to yes. be on the COVID 19, I think it was the COVID 19 solutions he has. So yes. it's also a great book and he's giving it out for free. So check it out. All right, family. Uh, if you want to contact me, you can call me at 215 779 7355. That's 215 779 7355. Or you can go on my website at www.drpaulherbs. That's DR. R P A U L herbs with a S dot com. Yes, uh, yes. We are still doing the R M three a we are available and we are still testing. See what we're doing right now is seeing what that immune system is. So with that, we are still having the works. The works is going real well, Bill. Yes, sir. And right. With the works, always ask for the works. Our number for that appointment line is one eight seven seven three seven seven twenty eight fifty four. That's one eight seven seven three seven seven twenty eight fifty four. Uh, this week, probably Brown Wednesday, we should have that you know, oil on all those other things that we talked about today. We're going to make it happen, y'all. All right. We're going to give a shout out, Bill. You know, um, want to give a shout out to Michael Ledbetter, Laura Lomax, and our president and CEO, Sarah Lomax Reese, yes, for an yes, entire yes. family for allowing us to have this platform where we can talk like this. And again, also, uh, family, uh, please be safe out here. Yes, uh, please. Mike Moore. Take care yes, sir. Sir. All right. Thank you, brother. No Appreciate problem. you, no man. And Bill with one L Morgan. Yeah, yeah, Thank buddy. you, brother. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> and and, and uh, don't, don't just want to remind folks we're going to send up the rebroadcast on both sides so we can see yes. everybody. Yes, you can hear the rebroadcast of this show and send it to somebody. I yes, say. sir. That's right. And last but not least, we say, you know, be encouraged, family. Indeed, guys. If you're breathing, you got a shot. God bless you. You got a shot. Bye bye now.